approval, uh, uh, you know, for a lot of the superheroes that they own to change to be okay. There, um, there's a strong anti-American tint to everything that's in the comic book industry today, and they read their unbranding branded characters thinking, okay, uh, this is longer than what we to do, but we're going to try it. Companies have this unbelievable, stupid idea, well, we're not selling as many things as we did before. They can't get it through the head. It's got nothing to do with people don't like the brand. It's got to do with the fact, um, but it's like no, us. Like it's just like us. We went to the grocery store to pick up some stuff we needed to, to work with, and they had some other things that were really, I mean, we got some stuff for injuries that they had you know, hand braces for working with computers and knee braces, things like that. So we, we overspent and didn't have the credit cards. I so, know, but um, we basically pumped every penny that we had to do it. But um, things are, we're buying stuff that died because they tried to rebrand them. Instead of simply getting it through their head, the people don't have the money. They're not buying your product because they don't like your product. They're not buying your product because they only have so many dollars to spend. We would have bought more, but we only had, basically, we don't have that much money in our pockets generally. But we had, we had 28 cents more than what we needed, and we could have bought more. So, <laughs> with 20, 28 cents. And um, if you don't have the money, I mean, I tell, I, I tell like the old famous, we discovered that women only buy merchandise because of the bling. They don't care about the price. They don't care if it works. They buy it because of the bling. Um, that did not go over well. But the same company came back and they simply, well, well these are designer brands designed by, uh, by our artists and, and, and athletes. Well, they didn't sell either. They, they uh, couldn't get it through their head. You know, well, Nobody has any money, so they're not buying any television sets. No sets are selling because nobody has any money. Cars are not selling, not because people don't like the design, they're selling because you can't get financing and you don't have the money. You can't buy a home because you don't have the money. You don't buy video games because you don't have the money. You're not spending four bucks for a comic book that used to cost a dime because I don't have that extra $3.90. It's why they're not buying, not because you need to rebrand your product. Nobody listened to me. I know. Well, it's one of those things. It's like they forgot. Gas went up. Yeah. Yeah. And when the gas went up, they uh, they okay. went some of your disposable income. Movies are not tanking because they're bad movies. When you're doing a sequel, basically you have a built-in audience. Sequels are dying not because they're 3D. It's because um, it costs too bloody much money to go to. Okay. Uh, we're going to be on it. But I don't know when you'll see this, but by the time you see this, we'll have probably seen Harry Potter's new movie. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to sink as much money in refreshments as the tickets cost. Mm -hmm. Totally. We'll sink as much, and the tickets are not cheap. And because we're going to be there for like seven hours, mm -hmm. and we will spend more in refreshment cost than the ticket. And then, then, then they say, well, you know, the, the gross is down 8% over last year. Well, people have 8% less money than they did last year, and the ticket prices are up. So you guard which which one of the sequels you're going to go see. And maybe you're not going to see the same thing four times. You're only going to see well, it three part times. Well, and part of it is most people that go to the theater, okay, try going to the theater and not having something to eat. Oh, God. Don't have popcorn, don't have... You know... Yeah, you can make You it. can have hot dog nachos. Yeah, you can make it without any food at the theater, but it just kind of goes, it's like baseball, hot dog, apple pot, right? Yeah. It's like movie theater, popcorn, and a drink. Yeah, but we can we can actually go through, okay, the movies we've been seeing are all two and a half hours long. I know that the... Um, They're longer. So you go through lots of drinks and lots of popcorn, so, and, uh, you know, we may go eat something besides drinks and popcorn that night, too. <laughs> we put it this way. We're starting out like at about eight, eight thirty, and not, and, and it will be like three thirty in the morning before we're finished. Oh, for that one, yeah. It'll yeah, be because we're we're getting Harry Potter's the whole whole thing and the whole that we got a special showing. So special showing Harry Potter's Deathly Hallows one and two. Oh yeah, we picked a nice theater that we can go to. So yeah, <laughs> which is close by, luckily. 
we wish they'd have done it at the rave because those seats are a lot more comfortable. Those seats are comfortable. And you can, they got a better, they got a better machine. I know, I like that one. The dispenser's far better. You can go get your own instead of having to go and stand in line. But, um, no, but trademarks are very important because we try not to tamper. When we tamper, we do it gradually so no one basically, if we cut our hair short, they would crucify us. Because this yeah. is, this is a six, this is a six year growth. If you go back to the beginnings, those videos are on from, um, from okay, go back to uh, Hurricane Katrina. And, you'll, hair and your hair was very short. And she had it styled for her, for the career she was in at that time. You know, more business. Um, you, you'll see the progression over the years to where, you know, and the cut on the bottom has been slanted sometimes. Sometimes it's been curved, sometimes it's straight across. So, because sometimes what happens is people miscut her hair, so and it, it can take it can take months. It's like Monty's fur. Monty's fur. If you do anything with her fur, she can't show for months. If anything goes on wrong with her hair, the hair tends to be behind the back of her, behind her back. It, it, okay, here's a good example. You want to know when there may be a problem with her hair? It doesn't get moved forward. That's how one of the problems, one of the tips that you see, there may be a slight problem with the trimming on the end is that the hair, we've had some, we had one, we had, she went into a really good shop and they cut the hair above the bottom of her bikini top. Well, line. yeah, just part of it is I want my hair longer than, than this. And they, cover. well, you have to remember that it's got to be from the back of your hair, yeah, not yeah. from the front of your and hair. And they cut so much hair off that it was above the line that's in the middle. And then Miss slanted it also. I mean, when they put the slant on, it was really bad. And this is a, you know, which we don't go back to that place anymore, but... So, but that's trademarks. Hair is trademark, glasses are trademark, her, you know, the... Her laughter to trademark, Monty is it's Monty. My, my laughter. Her laughter, her giggle, because I mean, we have heard um, like the gentleman, one of the gentlemen, a guy from Dexter, he said, I, I had to come see. We all heard you heard that at the end of the line. I had to come see. And that was it. I mean, so uh, they hear her giggling when she does interviews. She does giggle. She does giggle. She really gets happy because, you know, they, they, they you know, and, uh, They'll, they'll make some comment about our fuzzies to it, and she'll start laughing even more. So, but, um, they, if, if she was depressed, we'd be in big trouble. <laughs> so, but um, and like I said, this is a god awful long piece on trademarks. I know. Well, they are important. So, so they are your brain. I know. So we can call an end to this yeah. little piece. Yeah. So for now, for more information, you can. <laughs>